Learn how to make DIY Christmas trees with basic wooden pallets. They're amazing and beautiful, and you can do it for around 25 bucks. For this project, we'll take the magic of Christmas and the allure of marquee lights and combine them together to create a captivating focal point for your holiday display. Sounds amazing, right? Let's get to work. To make these trees, you will need the following supplies. Basic tools including a power drill, circular saw, pry bar, hammer, wood drill bits, measuring tape, and chalk line. You will also need one wooden pallet per tree, wood screws, paint and brushes, sandpaper, safety glasses, and C7 or C9 Christmas lights with removable bulbs. The best part about using pallets in a DIY project is that they are plentiful and usually free. Your local hardware store, grocery store, or plant nursery probably has extra to spare. Look for pallets that have evenly spaced boards with minimal holes and nails. The more uniform the pallet, the easier to work with. After a successful adventure in pallet sourcing, it's time to get to work. Trace a tree shape onto your pallet by starting at the top center point and drawing a triangle that extends to each corner. Then cut the shape out with a circular saw. The bottom portion of your pallet is sturdy and perfect for use as the tree base. Take care not to cut into this area when using the saw. To pry or not to pry? That is the question. After cutting out our tree shape, we chose to remove the boards from the spine to rearrange and paint them. We also added a few extra boards from the back of the pallet to fill out our tree shape. However, if you like the shape and spacing of your tree as it is, then skip this step and move right on to the paint. But before painting your boards, lightly sand them and make sure you have a debris-free surface. Then, paint both front and back in your preferred colors and allow time to dry. The boards are painted and assembled, so now it's time to install your lights. Mark on each board where you plan to place your light sockets. You might find it helpful to sketch a diagram of your light placement on paper first. Before drilling on your boards, test out a few different drill bit sizes on a piece of scrap wood to find the one that creates a hole to fit your socket size. The hole should be just big enough for the socket to slide through from the back, allowing the bulb to be screwed in from the front. For our trees, we used an E12 size stringer and a 13 16 drill bit. After all of your holes are drilled, begin placing your sockets through the back side of the pallet. Insert your first socket at the bottom center hole nearest the trunk and then begin weaving your way up and around the tree, ending on the other side of the trunk. You can use staples or electrical tape to keep the strings in place. However, use caution to prevent damage to the wires. Finally, screw the bulbs into the sockets. Then plug in your tree and admire your handiwork. <laughs>